Shalom and welcome to Branch of Israel. This is Rabbi Roger coming to you from God's beautiful country, Israel. Recently, I had the thought to look at the meaning of formless and void in Genesis 1. As I pondered on those two words, I realized, how could the earth be formless when God already created it in verse 1? In other words, you have a ball of water floating somewhere in space, yet something happened to it when it came in contact with the light. Life began. Then all of a sudden, my thoughts went deeper. What happened in Genesis 1 is the same process that happens with a baby in the womb. After a bit of research, I found that the verses line up almost perfectly with what happens from conception to birth, where each verse is almost identical in weeks for the formation of the baby. In 2 Peter 3, 5, by God's word, the heavens existed and the earth was formed out of water and by water. That is the same thing that happens in the womb. Starting in verse 2, the earth was formless and empty or barren. The same is true before conception, before the baby is formed. Verse 3, then God said, let there be light. At the moment of conception, when the sperm connects with the egg, there is an explosion of light and the womb is still barren and the baby is not yet formed. All of this takes place within the second and third week after conception. In the first 12 verses of Genesis, we see after the light appears, all the water collects in one place while life starts forming. In the same way, within the first 12 days following conception, fluid is found within the sac to surround the baby in the uterus so it may form and grow. Verse 13 is the end of day three, and the 13th week is the end of the first trimester. At this stage, the baby is fully formed, and if it is a girl, her ovaries will contain more than two million eggs. In verse 27, God created man in his own image, male and female. This is day six. In the 27th week, this is the end of the second trimester. The baby now sleeps and wakes on a regular schedule, and their brain is very active. Their lungs are not fully formed, but they could survive outside the womb with medical help. Now follow me closely. The beginning of the third trimester starts in Genesis 2. But in order to track with the baby's age, you have to continue counting as we read. In other words, Genesis 1 has 31 verses. So in Genesis 2, verses 7 and 8 would be the 38th and 39th week for the baby. Verses 7 and 8 say God formed man out of the ground and breathed life into his nostrils and then planted him in the garden. About the 39th week, a baby is ready to be born, take its first breath of air, and be planted into a home. Look, having a baby is a beautiful thing, as you just heard. But if you are in a situation in your life right now, and considering abortion, just remember, God did not abort the earth, since you and I are still here. He has wonderful plans for that child, and these are God's babies. For more teachings and information, visit branchofisrael.com. Again, this is Rabbi Roger coming to you from Israel, and thank you so much for listening. Lehitrods, goodbye, or see you again.